Hello and welcome to Random Uploads with me, Ellen. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Crime Scene Forensic Kit. I got this from B&M Bargain for $2.99 reviews. I've already opened it. And this is what you get. So I'll explain what a few things are. So firstly, we've got... Let's move this out of the way. The instructions. And it's just in the, it tells you all about police and stuff and what they do and how to use it. Then you get crime scene, then you make sure you how to use it shows using everything in it. Nextly it's an evidence bag. And these aren't like the ones you get in this country anyway. So it's like in police inspectors. But these are and it says department item reference, case number, date, time, evidence collected by, evidence found, locations of evidence found, type of crime, suspect, victim, chain of possession, received, received, received from date by date. Okay. So, I've also, you also get, you also get this bag, and it's just put things in. It's to it's put this putty in. It's squishy. You get two different coloured rulers. And I've already put these together sort of together. But these are like number cards and you just need to slot them in here. Like this. So I'm just gonna quickly go and do all these exact and they've got rulers at the end. So you have to bend them first because they are a bit cool. Um, being in bargains is quite a good thing because if you've ever heard a uh, place, because if you've ever heard of pillow pets, it's a pillow, it's a pet, it's a pet. I, pe I've got two of them now because I, when I got this, I had them reduced for one pound. So it means uh, when it said it's four ninety nine on the thing, so yeah, and I got another one years ago and it was twenty pounds. So yeah, they're doing really good deals. So you can see I've got all these and these one, two, three, four and five. Next what you get is I'm not gonna be using this in this video because I'm I'm gonna i I'm not gonna use it in this set, I'm gonna use it for crafts. It's plaster palace. You get this chalk to draw so if you're doing it on the pavement you can go dun dun and do it like that. And then next you get this I like just undo it. You get this crime scene and it show it says what it says is it says see uh, crime scene do not cross. So this isn't actually real tape and it's illegal to use it on streets, but if you're using it in your own garden or house or bedroom, whatever you're using it in, it's fine. Then next you get all this stuff here. it says witness statement. And it says Nay, it says name, date of birth, signature, investigator, signature, case, no, place, <laughs> place of incident, found committed, statement of events, and signature. And then you get the types of fingerprints, and it shows all the different thing fingerprints. Like that. And then this is the fingerprint records. You put all the fingerprints on it. The only bad thing is that you have to go and buy it your own ink. So I've got millions of stampers, but no ink. So I, so it's just it's just lucky. I need some ink at the moment, so I'll be doing that soon. I'll probably do a follow up video of me doing it outside, but I'm just going to be explaining some of the things and using the clay, and all that stuff. And next, it's the detective statement, and it's exactly the same, but it just says a few different things. So let's, and that's everything. But oh no, it's not. You get these footprints. And, that. and this is what I'm going to be using in this video. I'm going to open up this, and I also need to use my bag. So it's going to go. It's red. Oh, it's really weird. It's like modelling to me. I was in the packaging, you would expect it to be quite soft, but it's really. I expect this is sent, so I'm going to be bargains for long because 
I got about a few days ago some box, um, some bits and box books. So they say that I've actually got in this room, but I'm not going to show you them in this video. They I didn't have them a few days later. It's really weird stuff. I think I've had this before. It's like it's really, really putty. It's like really. So what I'm going to actually, I'm going to empty out this part. I'm going to go, I'm just going to press it down to a very thin layer. If you didn't watch my other videos, please watch them, but if you don't want to, uh, I'll say this again. I'm doing a room tour in a couple of, in about four weeks, even though it, I said it was going to be in about a week, uh, last weekend, but it was only because I'm moving house to back to the Isle of Man, so it means that um, I'm sort of, um, it's my, my bedroom's literally really weird but I am going to be doing a tidy bedroom because I'm, my bedroom is absolutely pig sky style so you can see I've pressed everything in and it looks like that I can't get it out till it's dried but I don't want to let it dry just yet so I'm just going to go it's really it's like once you put it in you can't get it out fully it's like really weird stuff I'm just going to go just quickly go and get all out place it in here but not actually mould it in here. Like a long hair but it's pretty weird stuff. I think I've used this before for something else but I'm gonna go and scrape for it. Thank you if you've commented on my videos because it's a big help and I really want to have at least twenty subscribers by January. But I don't think <laughs> again it's probably June next year so it's a year since I set off up my tech channel. So I'm going to actually go and quickly mould all this back in, so part of it back in, so I can actually get it out once it's dried and it's like, it's going to be like a really weird foam thing. So I'm just going to go spread it out like this, just getting it off the side and placing it in like this so if you can see now. And just go on the back and just quickly area like that. So that's what it looks like. I'll do a follow up video once it's dried and a few things using the stuff outside and creating a crime scene. And I'll also be using the plaster of Paris. Um so thanks for watching. I hope uh, please subscribe if you can and I'll hopefully be doing a tidying room and a few other things this week so thanks for watching and bye